tell me what was the aim of this exhibition? To show these great pictures that have never been seen before, to look at the artist's early work, which has always existed, but we never understood what its shape was. We didn't understand, we did not understand properly how it connected to the later work that we know so well. And what's nice about this is that there's so many great pictures. We see that she discovered her voice almost immediately. She was 33 years old. She was mature when she headed to the street. She gave up her fashion business with her husband and she explored the streets as they were and she interacted with her subjects in a very different way than the documentarians of her generation different than robert frank different than helen levitt or walker evans and she was searching for something which was a direct connection to her subjects and she found a way to do it but she was influenced by lisette model very, Mardell, very much so um, but she was influenced almost as a teacher as much as as a picture maker, because she didn't know her work that well. Ah, oh, really? Not so well. Um, but she, uh, Modell gave her a kind of philosoph philosophical strength and a belief in her own work, and that was extraordinary. So, um, but she knew the history of photography. She knew August Sander. She knew Lisette Modell. She knew Walker Evans. But she met him. She met her, Lisette. She Modell. met Lisette. Yes. But she, uh, when you see Lisette Model work, yeah. you really think that her work come directly from Lisette Model. There's no? a little bit there, but she was also working very much with August Sander in the background. Uh. Uh, and so that's how the pictures look at the individual and the society, and they have this kind of, um, there's a poetics about separating the individual from the society and asking questions about how do we become the person we want to be. And this sort of existential quality comes through um, in Sander, but in a different way in, Ar in Arbus. And do you, you think that Arbus was a tormented personality? I don't know. I didn't meet her. I can tell you that her pictures suggest that she was um, a great communicator and people shared secrets with her that they didn't share with other people, not with their husbands or their lovers or their children. Wow. So she must have been extremely effective in communication. So I, I don't know. Um, all I know is that the work and her um, com complete commitment to it is extraordinary. And uh, how many work have never been seen here? Two thirds of the pictures have never been published or exhibited, wow. which is a huge amount. Yeah. So we're introducing about 70 pictures to the canon, which is amazing. For a curator to introduce this many great pictures, I mean, that'd be like having finding 70 Rembrandts. Uh, and why were, were them? Were them? <laughs> I'm tired too. We can't so, talk anymore. Yeah, they were not shown <laughs> you, before, I'm, why? I'm giving you my, my uh, inability to speak. <laughs> Why were then? Well, there were just cer certain circumstances. Some were out there and some were not, but mostly they were h hiding in boxes in the artist's own uh, darkroom, and they were discovered years after the first show, and finally we got to look at them. And when I saw them the first time in the, about eight years ago or nine years ago, I said, wow, give and me an opportunity. Took, but it take you nine years to do that? Uh-huh. To show your Rembrandt? Oui. Why so much? Uh, you know, circumstances. I had other projects. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I had to develop a matrix. I had to come up with a core principle and okay. idea. And it takes time. Merci, Why not? monsieur. Merci.